Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to our video course on Scribus. In our last lesson, we talked about margins and bleeds and grids, but in today's lessons, we're talking about pages and master pages. So let's open up a new document. Let's go on single page and size A4. Let's add more pages. So for example, a number of pages of eight, and then let's go on OK. So here we have our new document with all of our eight pages with a single page format. Let's see how we can add more pages to this document. Let's go on page right here in the main menu and then insert right here. And it's going to ask you the number of pages that we want to add, for example, three and where to add them. So you can add them after page three, for example. Let's click on OK. And as you can see, the number of our pages went from 8 to 11. So there's 11 of them and they were added right where we wanted them. You can also go back to page and delete pages. So you can decide to delete from page number four to page number six. Let's click on OK. And we're back to having eight pages. A window that can be really helpful is arrange pages. You can move it wherever you want. And as you can see, here we have a little scheme with the eight pages in our document. But this window is also helpful because you can modify the document layout. So for example, right now we are in a single page layout. But if you click here, you can change it to facing pages right here. And you can also decide which one should be the first page. So for example, right now is, a, is the right page the right page is the first one, but you can also go to having the left page as the first one. You can add more pages by clicking on normal and drag to the position where you want to add the new page. So for example, as the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, fifth one, and so on, or the last one. So right here, so as you can see, everything was changed very fast. As you can see, there's only one master page available, which is the normal master page. And right now we're going to explore everything master page related. So let's go on edit and on master pages. A master page is basically a special type of page that will not be printed out, but it's special because everything that you do on the master page will be also done on the pages that are related and attached to this master page. So right now we have this normal master page, but we can create a new one by clicking on this. Now let's decide a new name for this master page. For example, master two right here. We can decide if it's going to be a right page or a left page. Let's have it a right page. Let's click on okay. So right here, this is master two. Let's see how this works. Let's create a text frame right here. And let's type in something like, Hello, then let's go and change the size. For example, let's have it at 60. Okay, perfect. Let's click on end edit. Okay, so now if we go back to our document, as we can see on our window, every single one of these pages is related to the normal master page because there's normal written on it. But if you click on the right side of your mouse, right here, you can go to apply master page and let's change from normal to master to the one we just created and let's apply not only to the current page which is the one in red but to all pages let's click on ok you can also apply to only even pages or odd pages or within a range that you can choose let's click on ok to apply to all pages right here because as you can see everything that we did on the master page so master two is now present in every single one of the document pages, because right now they are relating to master two and not to normal. And once again, if you want to create a new page that is related to master two, let's click on master two and then drag it to the position where you most want it. So right here, so you have a 10th page that relates to master page. As of now, you can also click on page and click on insert and then maybe two pages and 
you can manage the master pages. So the left one is going to be normal and the right one is going to be master two. So let's click on OK right here. As you can see now, we have all pages that relate to master two except for this one, which is normal. Now let's go back to editing master pages. Let's go back to master two because there's another thing that you can do with master pages that is really, really helpful. So let's create a new text frame. Let's have it down here in the corner. Let's click on it to type it in, to type something in. Let's go on insert and then on character and then on page number right here. Let's change up the size. Okay. And then maybe let's move it and have it right on the corner. The number is right now too, but it doesn't really matter because once you click and edit, of course, every single one of the pages will have its own number based on the order of the pages. So let's click on and edit right here. As you can see now, every single one of the pages has its own number. So let's go to single page. So as you can see it better, one, two, three, and so on. Every single one, except for the one that does not, that is not linked, this one, to master two, but is rather linked to normal. Having this window is helpful because let's see if you are on page one and you want to go to page six, you can just click on it and then go to page six and you can also delete pages. For example, let's delete the one that is related to the normal master page. Let's click on it and drag it back to the pin and then drop it. And as you can see, we do not have that page anymore. So let's try and open a template. So let's go on file and new from template so that you can see how master pages work better. Let's go, for example, on newsletters. Let's use this one. Let's click on OK. As you can see, this file has facing pages and only has two pages. Let's try and add another one right here. So we have now three pages. They all are linked to a normal master page. Let's try and insert other pages right here. For example, let's add five pages after page number one. So the new blank pages are going to be between the first, this first one and the second one. Let's click on OK. As you can see, they were placed right where we wanted them. And now if we want to delete one of them, let's just click on it and then drag it to the bin right here. We can also have the left page as the first page, as you can see. Now let's try and do something with master pages. Let's go on edit and then master pages. Let's create a new master page. For example, let's name it master four right here. And it's going to be a right page. Let's click on OK. Let's have a text right here that says news. For example, and let's have it bigger. Let's have it on the right corner. Okay. Then click on and edit. Now let's click on the right side on the right button of your mouse and then go to apply master pages. Let's go on apply master for page to all pages within range. And let's have it from two to five. Just click on okay. And as you can see, you have news on the right corner on the pages from two to five right here. So that's it for today, you guys. Remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to watch our next videos in this new video course about Scribus.